Hey guys, Silence here, here. Welcome back to the Utha Macross update video. And this video is for the version update 4.0.0. It is the first of its series. And as you can tell, like I mentioned in the April event update video, we are getting a new design for the home screen. So let's take a look at the home screen and of course familiarize ourselves with the buttons so that you guys don't get too lost when it comes to navigating around the game right now. So yeah, there isn't exactly a lot change except for the fact of its um, home screen outlook. And of course there is a, the fact that there is licensed music in the background now. I hope my video doesn't get copyright strike because yes, they are playing acoustic versions of familiar Macross series songs depending on who is on your main screen right now. So as you can tell, Basara is on my main screen therefore you get to hear some fire bomber music in the background. And of course, the Scenario, or rather the scenery behind Basara changes according to your time zone. That's what um, the App Store details actually mention. Um, we do know that there is a morning background screen, there's an afternoon or evening, and of course there is the nighttime scenario as well. So yeah, then of course the music will change accordingly to the time period of the day as well so that's pretty fantastic so right now i'm recording this video it's slightly half an hour after the update has gone live and yeah i've been playing around figuring things out so that i can help you guys really set yourself um to a familiarized i would say uh factor or familiarity to the game's buttons and where it leads to you to that kind of thing so yeah i have to go and research the buttons myself to go and confirm certain things before i can actually make this video for you guys so yeah all right so if you guys are thinking what are the arrows <laughs> the side for does it mean that you can see a wider um, you know, version of the illustration in the background. No, it doesn't mean that. If you notice that there's actually text underneath the arrows, yes, the arrows actually lead you to certain pages of the game. So we're gonna talk about the arrows first. So if you're planning to change your diva on your home screen, because we all know by now, I hope you do. If not, you might want to go check out my tutorial playlist um, talking about how you know you can change the diva on your home screen which will affect the prioritized diva valkyrie operations that appear especially for those of you who are trying to hunt down specific diva kyawawa dolls so the right button we're gonna tap this will bring out the diva you know personalization um, stats list or you, know, or you want to change your diva on your home screen that's basically how you do it so you can tell these are the stats of my basara so if you guys have been you know powering up your divas with the diva improvement event which we recently just concluded you can you can see for yourself that the numbers are very different for your basara and my basara because well technically maybe if you're a basara fan your numbers will definitely be a lot higher than mine uh, whereas i'm pretty mediocre <laughs> when it comes to training basara so my numbers are still on the slightly lower end all right so let's Look at all the buttons here. The first one, of course, that is highlighted is where we are currently at, which is the status tab. All right, and here, the next button is the costume tab. So basically, if you want to have Basara change costume, this is basically what you need to press. And of course, you get to see now that the costumes level or the rarity up, you know, if you've been powering up the costumes through the Kyawawa rank, or the Kawawa closet, um, you will definitely see more stars than I usually have. Now, if you're wondering why some of my costumes have a single black star, it's because those costumes actually have color alterations, uh, alternate colors. 
so I've not unlocked the alternate colors of those costumes just yet. So that's why they are black. Okay, <laughs> so yeah, so this time round they've made it very easy to change costume. Just tap on it, and Basara or whoever's on your screen will uh, don the costume straight away. Now the third button, which is our gift, as you can tell, my proficiency for. Uh, or rather the affection. The affection level for Basara on my side is maxed out actually. Um, some time ago, all my DFAS affection levels have been maxed out and the current max level is level 50. So hopefully you guys have been um, diligently giving gifts or you know tapping your DFAS on the screen um, to give them affection levels, uh, that kind of stuff. So yeah, so as you can see, all the affection gifts are here and they are all grayed out because there's uh, no way I can give them to my divas right now because they're all maxed out in level. The last tab is the profile tab. So basically, if you want to know more about your divas, how old they are, when is their birth date, you know, um, your parents, um, I guess all the other stuff like what kind of things they like, you know, where they come from, so they can see that. Uh, he, the details here is from a rock band called Fire Bomber uh, and all that kind of stuff. He, he's a vocal vocalist, a guitar player. Yeah, if you can read all the Japanese text, you will probably know what I'm reading here. So, yeah. So, all the tabs here, however, does not say how you can change your diva. Well, basically, <laughs> it's not under any of these four tabs. But if you see the name of the character here, and there's this purplish button that's why you tap this one and you pick whichever diva you want to change to so I'm switching to Ranka so I wonder if the background music will change okay apparently the music doesn't change so the diva doesn't affect the background music so that's pretty interesting all right so yeah I'm gonna change Ranka's costume because uh, although I like the key Art 2 visual for my cross crossover life. I do actually like this one that I recently got as well, which also belongs to her 7 star episode play. Mm -hmm. Look at that, so pretty. Okay, <laughs> so yeah, if you're wondering what the magnifying glass button does, basically it just lets you view your diva in all its glory. If you are a cosplayer, this function is extremely useful when it comes to getting the details of the costume of the costume that you might consider cosplaying in the future. Of course, um, you are able to do this in landscape and of course in horizontal position as well, uh, depending on how your dev uh, devices are positioned at that point of time. So yeah, Okay, so moving aside, let's get out of this page. We're going back to the home menu. Okay, so what's the left arrow button? Um, basically, it brings you to your decor room. So in the past, we used to have a decor room on the top left-hand corner. That button no longer is there. In fact, now it's now become an arrow button. So I'm going to press the decor room button just to show you. Loving the music, although I worry once again uh, that it might be a copyright issue right now. <laughs> so all my Utama Cross videos are ten, uh, in high tendency of getting copyrighted thanks to this new version update. Oh boy! <laughs> so as you can tell, this is my current decor room setup. It's designed for Fire Bomber. Um, although I am technically using. Um, a Macross Plus background <laughs> but I think it suits the theme it's like an outdoor uh, performance area so that's kind of cute yes Kyululu is there with uh, Shinigami mess <laughs> but you know all the mascots need to be around can you spot where Guvava is? <laughs> so yes so apparently the Buttons layout has not changed for the decor room. In fact, some of the other tabs, the button layouts have mostly not changed as well. It's just the main home um, screen plus that bottom row of button buttons here. These these are the ones that you really need to get yourself familiarized with. So okay, we'll talk about 
this section here first because this is what we are so familiarized with is just that the um, the design is slightly changed so your player rank is here you can hold on to it and of course you can see how many more experience to the next level up then of course your energy bar then if you're looking at the number below it um, yep that is um, your current Uta oh no your, your your Uta grade so if you've been paying attention to um, like your high scores for the lives uh, in the regular life menus um, you notice that every time you break certain high scores your Uta grade actually improves yeah that's basically it um, and I'm, I'm currently like in the 6476 position Uta grade um, which is not fantastic because there is a reason why I'm not higher than this because I've yet to make that Uta Macross tutorial video when it comes to um, secret leaves or rather yeah your luck notes your kira kira effects you know and when you slot luck notes what kind of effects do they have that kind of thing so basically it's to optimize the best out of your episode play uh, I've not met I have not made that tutorial video yet and that's why all my high scores are kind of restricted. They are not at their full potential. <laughs> so yes, I'm limiting myself just for you guys. So yeah, and of course the second row of numbers here is basically your um your every month's worth of zodiac medals. I only have 145 medals left because I've already used the majority of them to claim the episode plates in the Chaos Exchange. So if you guys are really lost on what I'm talking about, you really need to go and watch all my other videos to familiarize yourself uh, with full time across. Alright, and then the last part here with the golden coin is basically your in-game currency that you use to power up your episode plates buy stuff from the Chaos Exchange page and all that stuff. Then of course, no, there's no need to explain the um, Singing Stones, <laughs> which I currently own. So alright, staying on the top area, we're moving to the left hand side. So the button here with the four arrows basically just lets you view the entire screen without all the icons around. So tap the screen again and everything reappears. So it's a great way to take a screenshot of your favorite diva, you know, and of the lovely background if you are trying to do something um, creative with the screenshot, I guess. So yeah, okay, so here is the most important or rather the new button that has been implemented or rather it has been around but it's just that there are things that have changed. So. In the past, we can change the background behind our divas to the image of the episode plate we prefer. So that is still around, it's just that it is now on this um, two second row list of buttons here. So it's currently highlighted on illustration. So we are currently on this cowboy town background. You can change the background accordingly of course since it's Ranka then I might be using this one instead because it suits her more you know because that's basically where she sang Aimo if you guys remember all right so you know out of all these backgrounds you can change to um, there's the option to change to episode plate which is this button here so you can choose whichever episode plate you want and the background will change Accordingly, look at that Makina and Reina together. Aren't they a bit too close? <laughs> I should have probably put Reina there. It would have done a very nice um, Maki Ray scenario. <laughs> Alright, so what are the other buttons? Basically, you can choose this. Um, yeah, you remove the diva in the center of the screen. So if you really love the illustration of your episode plate, you can just have only the image of the illustration plate in the background and of course remove your diva but you know it really depends on each person I myself would like to see my waifu on the screen or maybe because I'm currently trying to get kawawa dolls of another diva that isn't my main stand 
uh, definitely I, I don't want to see them I might have that option to remove them off the screen. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not trying to list out diva names here because it's a very sensitive topic, but you know. Alright, so what is the other things here? Basically, if you do choose an illustration, right, you can choose to have it like um, slightly darker or, you know, pop brighter, depending on how much focus you want on your main screen right there so yeah looking nice is giving that, that shadowy effect gives it a bit of a um, contrast um, of maybe a slightly darker evening period i really like Kululu lying on the cabinet over there <laughs> it's just so cute okay um so what is this black hole thing that you you see here now well, basically this is where you tap and you go to the memory zone. So uh, in, la in the past, the memory zone used to have a tab at the bottom row of icons. It's no longer there. It's now on your home screen um, on the top left hand corner. So this is where all the brand new songs that are permanently added to the game will be unlockable here. So okay, back to the home screen. That's pretty straightforward. Nothing much to explain other than that. The numbers here on the hearts is basically your affection levels or rather affection points that you can give to your divas. For those of you who are still trying to max out your diva uh, affections, um, you can definitely use it to tap the, the diva and then of course you can try to give them the affection points but sadly to say all my divas are maxed out already so that number five is always consistent on my screen for a very long time all right so let's talk about the bottom section of the home screen here so if you see there's this one that says mission so this will actually bring you to the mission tab which is also at the bottom of the, the selection of buttons but of course that is just a shortcut so here basically you claim all your rewards um, that you have yet to claim so it's just a shortcut, not nothing too serious. I mean, of course, you can always tap the traditional mission button just to get to that page. Um, the buttons here are not much of a difference. Uh, present box is pretty obvious with the present icon. Of course, there are stuff here that you can claim. Oh, apparently they've given special episode place. What's this? Utama Cross Tokubetsu present this. It seems like I think everyone has gotten a copy of this each. Okay, so uh, alongside with the new update, apparently we're getting some episode plates, um, which is fantastic. So let's take a look what episode plates did we receive. This is the first to me. <laughs> okay, what episode plate? Oh, ooh. It's a pretty old episode plate, but it's nice to attain it and it managed to fully evolve my copy. So that's nice. What about the second one? There we go. Oh, it belongs to the name. So these are all very old episode plates um, that the game actually started with. I think this one belongs to Freya. So we got a copy of Milane, Minmain, and. Oh, it's Rankas! Ooh. Okay, so I don't know if the episode plates given this way are the same for everyone. If they are the same for you, let me know in the comment section down below to this video. If they are different for you, let me know what episode plates did you get for yourself. So yeah, as usual, as you can see, the, the layout here hasn't changed. Um, sadly to say, it's only this that has really made a difference. Um, so yeah, so the pink button still basically lets you claim all the gifts at one go. So, alright, moving back to the home screen once more. Alright, so the eye icon button, which is the second one here, is basically your banners. So you can tell the next event banner is already out since yesterday. Um, and of course, the next um, ticketing event belongs to... The, uh, the Macross 7, I was gonna say Basara 7, but no, <laughs> Macross 7 series because Milane is the starter. Um, so Reyna is a tag along, so that's pretty interesting. Um, but yeah, so 
And of course, as usual, we are now getting a step up gacha for the seven star episode played along with the regular gacha. So if you are trying to conserve your singing stones, um, or maybe you know if you're free to play player, like I mentioned, and um, I think it was Ranka's yeah Ranka's seven star gacha video for the month of March. Um, I explained that the step up gacha is actually more worthwhile but of course for free to play players if you guys have not you know re um, stored up at least uh, a full amount of singing stones to pull the step up gacha um, which is a thousand seven hundred singing stones if I'm not wrong um, yeah you definitely will go with a traditional seven star episode plate gacha system pool so yeah the discounted 300 singing stones then followed by the usual 500 amounts so yeah this type of gacha is definitely more worthwhile because the rates are higher and then of course there's a confirmed um, five star pool within the step up gacha itself as well so anyways um that aside, let's move along. So this button here, it says Utamaku Pass. In the past, Utamaku Pass button was on the left side of the screen. Now it's shifted down to this area here. Uh, it's one of those buttons that people barely use because um, even I myself, who am a subscriber of Utamaku Pass, I barely check on you know the, the status of my gift claims um, but the only time I check is basically when when my pass is going to expire or like how many more days to my free rarity up start that kind of stuff so yeah then of course the friend tab is now shifted here so if you want to check the friends who are linked to your account or like maybe your friend request or you know all that kind of stuff if you want to add friends the stuff is exactly the same it's just that the buttons position has changed on the home screen so just get yourself slightly more familiarized the last one of course is the NSN button um, basically whenever you play events you unlock story content where the, the characters talk among themselves and give a bit more details on the current event that is going on that's basically where you can check out the story content and of course the birthday greetings and all that kind of stuff will be in this SNS button now lastly this tab here if you press the pink button by the side you get this list of advertisement banners so in the past we used to have the advertisement banner here on the right side where they will automatically scroll through so of course if you minimize it it will change accordingly as well so yeah if you really want to focus on seeing specific uh, advertisement banners you can just enlarge the whole listing and just scroll through the entire thing so yeah all right lastly we are talking about the buttons on the bottom portion of the screen the the left the most button it's all actually all the buttons are in in English so <laughs> home diva operations so your Valkyrie operations are now shifted here in the past there are buttons along this set of these buttons here with the Valkyrie image but now it's no longer there it has shifted to its own menu button here so Valkyrie operations if you want to send your Valkyries to collect gifts or to clear um, diva operations which I currently don't have any on hand your weekly your daily Valkyrie operations hopefully you guys have been sending them out um, you know to claim all the wonderful rewards as you can see here on the screen so yeah then of course the live button there's no change in its position it's always in the center at the bottom row all right and of course the gacha button is still there and of course you can tell um, it, in fact all the buttons are very international friendly right now <laughs> they have English at the bottom that's amazing okay so mission button don't have to say and of course the last one which is the menu button so apparently there's something new to check out so so we're going to the chaos exchange page what is new oh apparently it's the um, this ring sphere exchange yeah so apparently they have 
rotated certain things. Um, so you only get these um, spheres if you purchase Singing Stone Packs. So yeah, that's really not that important. So anyway guys, that's it for version... Wait, no it's not over. I almost forgot. There is one more thing that was implemented. So we're gonna go into the live section and yeah, this portion, my video is definitely going to get copyright struck because there's music in the background. So I'm gonna try and lower the audio right now for the game. Um, so yeah, so what else was included? If you guys come to your Diva setup screen, um, like I mentioned in the April update video, they have included a way to quick customize your Diva plates uh, accordingly to how you want to play. So if you go to this button, which is the auto setup, you can see that this new tab, which is what we are highlighted on already, is included. So you can set up your Divas according to this three form, uh, formats. The first one that's highlighted is score. So basically they will equip all your, your Divas with the best episode plates used for scoring on the particular song. So you don't have to worry about what kind of series or element um, the song belongs to. They will just set it to the best episode plates that you currently have. Um, so I'm just going to show you an example. So here we go, they have set up a full set of episode plates that are probably the most powerful or the most beneficial for this current song. Um, of course, the second tab here, you can set it according to your life. So if, you, if you're trying to survive, um, this setup is actually the best. So it, it will probably include like um, episode plates that heal you or um, increase your health quantity, that kind of stuff. So yeah. Then of course the third one which is the most interesting which is to clear combos or rather to to try and complete the life with the best combo possible is either a, a full combo or a perfect full combo because the episode plates that they equip onto the diva actually improves if you see this Japanese text here um, you probably recognize it with through all the Utam across gacha videos that I've done. Um, these skills basically increase the range of your tap accuracy. So you will have a lower tendency of breaking or missing a note. And of course, you will have a higher chance of getting your great or excellent or perfect, you know, that kind of stuff. So yeah, so that's it. That's really it to the episode plate customization and it also concludes um, the version 4.0.0 update for Otama Cross. Guys, what do you think of the new layout? I think it looks very simplistic, it looks slick, it looks futuristic. Um, let me know your thoughts on the new update in the comment section down below and of course do the usual good deeds. Leave a like on the video, share the video to friends who are still playing Utah Macross, and make sure they are up to date on what the buttons do on their screen. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed just yet, or are new to the channel, and say goodbye to Ranka, and till then, I will see you guys into the next video. Bye!